Hey you guys, this is Kendra with Clothes with KG and today I want to talk to my buyers. So we are going to go through five tips to make your buying process as stress-free as possible. Um, five things that you can do starting now, starting today, so that when you get in your buying process, you will have little to no stress and at the end of it, you will be in the home of your dreams and all will be okay, all right? Number one is lay the groundwork. Start this process early. Get in the mindset early. Um, things that you can do in this time are getting ready for your loan application. Start gathering documents like pay stubs, bank statements, tax returns, make sure your taxes are in order. Um, it's tax time now. So if you know that you want to buy something this year or next year, make sure that your taxes are in order now. So that when you get to that point, it won't be a scramble. It won't be a surprise. Um, start keeping track of your monthly payments. Don't go out and buy a car. Don't go out and buy a, or make a huge purchase because that can affect your ability to get pre-approved for a mortgage. Um, and then, of course, start saving to make sure that you have enough for your down payment. Um, a good idea here is also to get in contact with a lender early and often and to make sure, make a plan. If you're not ready yet, stick to that plan to make sure that when you're ready, you have the funds, you have the documents in place and you are ready to start shopping. Number one, lay the groundwork. It will make things so much easier. Number two work with a real estate agent make sure that you have someone in this process that is working on your behalf that can answer your questions guide you through the process i would love to be that person um, but make sure that you have someone that you can trust this is a huge huge thing most people this is the biggest purchase or one of the biggest purchases that you will ever have in your life and you need someone there that can answer your questions and be on your side now in most situations the seller's agent pays the selling agent and that agent cooperates with the agent that's representing the buyer so this isn't isn't even an out-of-pocket expense for the buyer so take advantage of that work with an agent in this process and let that person help you along the way so that it can that it can go more smoothly Number three, communicate effectively. Ask all the questions that you have. Don't let a question go unanswered in this process. Like I said before, it is a long process, a complicated process. Make sure that all of your questions are answered, whether it's to your agent, to your lender, to your inspector, to your appraiser. Make sure that you get those questions answered. Um, pick a communication method that is effective for everyone. If you're an email person, a text person, a phone call person, communicate that to your team to make sure that everyone is communicating effectively and efficiently. Um, I've had transactions before where we've created group messages with the team, with myself, the lender, um, and everyone in one place so that we can have all the information um, disseminated efficiently. So just pick a communication method. Like I said, communicate that to your team, but make sure all of your questions are answered and make sure that you communicate directly with your team. Make sure that you are very direct in the way that you communicate so that nothing is misconstrued, no one is confused, especially you as the buyer. Number four, be patient, persistent, and decisive. This is a really fine balance um, in this process of being patient and being decisive go into an understanding that things may happen things will probably happen you may not get the home that, that you put an offer on on the first time it's okay be persistent keep looking and when you find that house that speaks to you be decisive put that offer in because chances are if it is a great listing and a great home, other people are thinking the same thing. And the last thing you wanna do is wait, 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 three days later, now the home is off the market and you can't even put in your offer. So again, be patient, know that the process could have some hiccups, understand that, be persistent, don't give up, things will happen, 
your team is there to take care of those things and help you help guide you through those things and also be decisive when you find what you want number five last but not least be flexible and we talked about this a little bit in number four but be flexible with the process understand that things can and will happen and be flexible be level-headed work with your team and we can all get through it together also be flexible with the property um this likely will not be your very last home you may want to move in two three four five ten years be flexible with that property know that the biggest one of the biggest advantages of being a homeowner is that you can change anything so if there is something about the home that you don't like be flexible with that you can change it the day after closing you can change it two years after closing but it's yours and yours to control and change in the process everything else is kind of beyond your control except for the financial piece so understand that and work with your team so that we can all get to the closing table all right so why don't we do a little recap on the five secrets to a stress-free buying transaction number one lay the groundwork have all of your paperwork in order when you put in that loan application or it's time for you to put in documents you are ready to go um, number two work with the real estate agent make sure that you have someone that you trust in this process that can guide you through it and answer your questions number three communicate effectively find a communication method that works for you make sure that you have all your questions answered and everyone is in the loop through every step of the process number four be patient persistent and decisive understand that things can and will happen keep keep going and once you get to a point to make a decision make that decision and keep moving and number five be flexible be flexible with the process be flexible with your new home and let's get you to the closing table